So I'm a chronic pain physician, and I can tell you firsthand that chronic pain is one of the most difficult conditions to treat. But would you believe that it was even worse 40 years ago? A lot of the information today is going to be from this article, especially from my co-author, Lena Matthew. Pain care is expensive because it affects every aspect of society. One study that's almost 10 years old now estimated that the U.S. spends $134 billion on neck and back pain alone. Decades ago, pain care really centered on opioids, and the thought was that only doctors and nurses really treated pain. Now we know that it takes all kinds of specialists to help support somebody in pain. Studies in neuroscience over the last few decades identified multiple different pathways of pain. There are different types of nerve fibers that transmit different types of pain. There's different ways that your body turns on and off pain signals. There are chemicals that your body creates to either enhance or decrease the experience of pain. There's even the autonomic nervous system and different parts of your brain that all interact together to create the experience. With new research like this, we realize that pain has to be approached from multiple different ways. While we have a long way to go with medications, there are some new medicines that have been developed that are showing some promise. Most notably is Suzetrogene for acute pain and the CGRP inhibitors for migraine. Modern comprehensive pain care doesn't just focus on medications these days. A modern pain approach might include advanced interventional care as well as lifestyle interventions. Improving sleep, improving social support, diet, and mood all play a role in restoring the body. There are new advances every year, so stay tuned and we'll talk more about interventional care.